I wish I could have known Donnelly in this place. We would have had so much to debate. Did he paint these stones or did I? Who left the pots in the hut by the jetty? Who formed the museum under the sea? Who fell silently to his death into the frozen waters? Who erected this godforsaken aerial in the first place? Did this whole island rise to the surface of my stomach, forcing the gulls to take flight? Fire and soil, I chose fire. It seemed the more contemporary of the options, the more sanitary. I could not bear the thought of the reassembly of such a perfect. Stitching arm to shoulder and femur to hip, charting a line of thread like traffic stilled on a motorway, making it all acceptable for tearful aunts and traumatized uncles flown in specially for the occasion. Reduce to ash, mix with water, make a phosphorescent paint for these rocks and ceilings. There were chemical diagrams on the posters on the walls on the waiting room. It seemed appropriate at the time. Still life abstractions of the processes which had already begun to break down your nerves and your muscles in the next room. I crammed diazepam as I once crammed for chemistry examinations. I am revising my options for a long and happy life. From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into twenty-one pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic, and I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink.
a sound of torn metal, teeth running over the edge of the rocks, a moon that casts a signal as I lay pinned beside you, the ticking of the cooling engine, and the calling from a great height, all my mind as a bypass. I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. I can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge, and carves parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. If only Donnelly had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. Returning to my car afterwards, hands still shaking, and a head split open by the impact. Goodbye to tearful aunts and traumatized uncles. Goodbye to the phenomenal. Goodbye to the tangible. Goodbye Wolverhampton. Goodbye Sanford. Goodbye Cromer. Goodbye Damascus. This cliff path is slippery in the dew. It is hard to climb with such an infection. I must carve out the bad flesh and sling it from the aerial. I must become infused with the very air.
He was not drunk, Esther. He was not drunk at all. He had not drunk with Donnelly or Spat Jakobsen back at the sea. He had not careered across the lost shores and terminal beaches of this nascent archipelago. He did not intend his bonnet to be crumpled like a spent tissue by the impact. His windscreen was not star-studded all over like a map of the heavens. His paintwork etched with circuit diagrams, strange fish to call the gulls away. A phosphorescence of the skid marks lighting the M5 all the way from Exeter to Damascus. We will leave twin vapor trails in the air, white lines etched into these rocks. Dear Esther, I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly? Who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. You have always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. <laughs> 